Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, I know that it has been a while that I have posted any consistent videos. Uh, for those who are, follow me, uh, who are following me on Facebook, probably you do know that I'm quite active on the Facebook and uh, pretty much um, you can find the link to my Facebook page into the uh, description down below. And uh, yeah, you feel free to uh, tune in for a uh, live streams and as well those live, stream are, live streams are containing a free readings. Now the reason why I haven't been a, um, in touch with you guys lately, <clears throat> it is because, um, as you probably know, I am uh, executing my own personal tarot classes. And now as uh, the main tarot class, which is the beginner tarot class, which is the beginner's tarot class, it's a uh, <clears throat> it's a on a recorded version currently. Uh, means that you can, uh, as soon as you contribute to it, you can uh, have it in your own pace. You are going to get access to the twelve hours of content lectures, which are including. Uh, or are containing a, the uh, profound explanation of the major arcana and uh, also how you can use those uh, major arcana in terms of uh, career, in terms of relationship, as well as if you are looking for those things also, uh, I mean career and relationship and also in the uh, various positions into the spread that I have uh, dedicated for the class and it's pretty much a, a spread that I am using myself as well in my professional readings. Uh, so at the end of this class, you are set to do your own uh, personal readings uh, in, or uh, private readings as well, hopefully. <clears throat> and uh, that is not all. You also are going to get a one personal, a free, uh, not, it's not free. It is within the uh, purchase, you know, one personal, a uh, coaching hour with me. Uh, whenever you do have questions, you want to practice, you know, uh, you want to ask me certain things that are, that's, uh, are pretty, uh, that you couldn't get your grab uh, um, upon uh, into the, uh, from the from the videos. Oh my God, what is so difficult to talk today. So yeah, uh, pretty much things that are, are, pretty, uh, are a bit vague and you could not understand from the videos, you can extensively ask me about them in this uh, particular hour. And as well, um, as usual, if you do want a personal reading with me, uh, you can just purchase one from my website. You can find it here into the uh, description down below. And once you uh, set your purchase, upon 24 hours, I'm gonna come back to you and um, via email that is and going to give you a uh, explanation how your reading is going to take place depending on the purchase uh, that you have placed so that being said uh enjoy the show uh, i hope that you do like the uh, monthly videos and here you go your star sign Right, so we have Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising here on our hands uh, and what probably the month of July is going to be for them. Uh, this is going to be a spread that I'm using for my uh, tarot classes and it my tarot classes, that is, it's a uh, pretty simple spread, four card spread and it's a uh, major arcana friendly as well. But here um, I'm just going to use not just only the major arcana but all 78 of the cards and by the way excuse me guys if you do hear a background voices that is because there is a pretty much uh, there are pretty flux outside of uh, outside of my studio and uh, people were going in and out like right now so nothing I can do about it, and uh, yeah, we, we have to pretty much chew it down. So uh, that being said, now the first card for Aries is going to be the Two of Cups, followed by the next one, which is the Eight of Pentacles. Now, if you wonder how I know or that I knew that it was Two of Cups, it is not because I have psychic powers, but because my camera has a reflection, and I just pretty much saw the card in the reflection on the camera. So we do have the Eight of Pentacles uh, moving next, and then it is the uh, Seven of Pentacles here into the third position. And the last one that we do have, that is going to be the Star card. So something else I'm gonna do in those videos that probably I never done before. Uh, as we all know that the, the, the months, we are gonna do things in the months that are going to probably resolve uh, in the future. 
right? Uh, so not everything that we start initiating throughout the months of July will manifest itself throughout the months of July. So I'm going to give here a, a prediction of what time frame you can expect the things that you initiate and the things that you place foundation here in the months of July are going to manifest themselves. So uh, the time frame for you, uh, Aries, is going to be... The time frame for you is going to be by the end of uh, by the end of February 2021. So it does look like that we do have a quite over a long period of time for a development for you. So, um, for example, if you do start a job from the month of a uh, July, don't expe don't expect to climb up into the ladder of the hierarchy in that job. Uh, pretty rapidly though it does look like that it's quite promising here as we can say from the star card but uh, let's have a look at the cards first so we do have uh, this uh, pretty kind of like a eye gouging if you will uh, combination of the two of cups and the eight of uh, eight of pentacles sitting in this particular um, uh, this particular collision here the first position is the two of cups and the eight of pentacles is into the second position and that reflects people who are looking for love of pretty severely pretty much this points that throughout the months of july you can't expect that the love is gonna come your way okay uh, or rather like it's gonna find you on on its own accord now you do have to do something about it in a sense of that you gotta go out and start dating with people you know initiating uh, you can also sign up for some kind of a uh uh, how can I say for some kind of a uh, online dating apps or online dating uh, uh, dating websites and etc etc now the thing with those two cards binding up together it does uh, refers to the how can I say the, the the need if you will from your behalf to show to the world and to the universe that you are pretty much done with the past okay and you are uh, now willing to open your heart for something new so here we are do talk we we do talk about a a, a new coming love if you will okay something that you haven't experienced back in the days so if you for example are hoping for some kind of a reconciliation while it is kind of possible because these cards are not exactly pointing to a brand new beginning now that re re reconciliation should be a, a relationship that has nothing to do with the past relationship you had with that person so the person has to be the same but the relationship hasn't it should not have anything to do with the previous form of relationship you do have in between one another meaning that you shouldn't bring the same problems meaning that you shouldn't bring the same excitement meaning that you shouldn't bring the same foundation but it is like you have just met with one another and you are building up a new relationship from a pretty much scratch now uh seven of pentacles here that we do have into the third position it's a uh, kind of card pointing that it, it's a pretty good approach from you to take the things rather slowly and uh, if you will aim meticulously now that is for a reason being is that with the seven of pentacles you never know what is lurking behind a corner and i'm not talking about a bad things that are to happen but more like in an opportunities that you may not have any more clear place or rather like space to take on under your wing so <clears throat> say you know you have overwhelmed yourself with a lot of tasks into your career and suddenly two days from now you know an amazing opportunity for initiating a project comes about but you have already taken a so many responsibilities that you can't jump and indulge yourself in it so for that reason it will be important here areas throughout the next month it is to be really accurate if you will and true to yourself you know how much uh you you invest in things and how much you're gonna get from those things because with you for what it seems it may be a a, a matter of honor and a matter of, of of dignity even if something isn't worth a, even if something is not worth your time just for you you can prove you know that there is nothing you cannot perform under or something that you cannot accomplish or achieve you do may take those inefficient uh kind of like enterprises and tasks as well now <clears throat> important thing as well to be acknowledged is i, I want to show you that with the seven of pentacles here now it does depend how you look at the card though uh and that person or you know, the person seems kind of like 
stressed, isn't it? I mean, uh, it does look like a bit of an uh, a bit worried here, as you can look at it into the card now. What is that person doing though? I mean, if that person is worried because he just saw a pentacle falling from the bush that he grew, or is that person worried because he, he does not see a way how to fit that pentacle into the bush? You know, we don't, we don't know. And that, that will depend on what kind of a situation you're in, right? So you can be the one that, that, who worries that things are falling apart. You can be the one who worries that things are simply way too many so you can make a capitalization of all of them uh, however as the seven of pentacles is into the third position of this prayer it means that you can figure the thing out okay as, as long as you do put into it the uh, mental awareness and, and the mental how can i say uh, the mental work that it, that it does require. So in other words, you do the thinking, you do the math there and you do the science behind it. So yeah, I mean, you're gonna science the hell out of the things that you have to uh, overcome and you have to perform throughout this uh, particular cycle, career-wise or relationship-wise. And what that is gonna bring you here is, is that it's going, pretty much is going to uh, uh, sever a kind of like a tumultuous times that you're going through. And uh, by the end of the month, uh, it does look like like that you are now going to see much more clear picture and much bigger overview in front of yourself and and that will double you with belief for that the best it is uh just one second for that the best is just yet to come i know uh, if that refers to relationship okay and you were able to reconcile with your ex or you found a new guy or a girl that you are to be with or simply you have improved your relationship or a marriage now you can expect that the love is going to keep on rolling in there i mean the, the love is going to truly unfold uh, to a point where it's going to fit with your standards okay it's going to fit with your it's not even an expectations it's more like a uh, ideals you know standards and ideals and in terms of a uh, work uh, that's uh, you can have the expectations but that whatever you accomplish here throughout the month of july is going to be the foundation that will allow you to burst really through and in the month of February next year, where truly things are to be decided and you will be able to, how can I say, collect the fruits of your labor from the work that you did in July or this month that we are reading for right now. So pretty much uh, that was uh, that was that guys. I hope you do enjoy it. I hope you do liked it. That is very brief, I uh, monthly tarot reading. Um, <clears throat> And uh, yeah, we're gonna see each other uh, next time, probably for a weekly or for another monthly, who knows. Uh, we will see how the time is going to be on my end. And with that being said, I love you guys and see you next time. Until then, bye.